This is the new aquaponic garden. I'm liking it a lot so far. It's been running for about a week. And I'm dropping my pH down so my tomatoes are starting to ripen. But we'll start the walkthrough right here. This is the fish tank. This is where the fish eat and poo, do their thing. It goes into the swirl filter where the water spins and the heavier solids fall out to the bottom. So this drain right here controls the level of both of these. So if I ever running out of water and need to add a little bit more, I can just twist that drain. That'll give me a lot more water in my sump. But I don't need to do that, and we'll get to that in a second. So next is the particle filter. I redid this, and it works a little better. It doesn't look as nice, but it's more practical because I can pull out individual filter pads and rinse them out and put them back in. So from here it goes to the sump. And if I ever need to get to the sump, I can just pull this out. This isn't attached at all. So that's nice. And uh, there's three waterfalls going into there. Up to the buckets and into the grow beds. Which I think I'm going to need to add an air stone into each grow bed. Because my flow isn't fast enough. I was going for a slow flow on this garden. So I, I need to add some air. Or else the plant growth will just be too slow. So, tomato's happy. This is a couple month old plant that I've moved around from different gardens. The root mass is exploding. It probably goes down to about here, I would assume by now. So, just three gallons of straight roots. And the last part is the auto top off bucket. Now, this yellow line in there is attached to a float valve. So, as the water evaporates, it'll the float valve will drop and open up a valve letting in this fresh water that has been pH adjusted and dechlorinated. Yes, it is a word. So, slowly getting my pH down to 6. Oh, it is 6, but only in this bucket. My sump, it is 6.6. .6. So that's good, we're getting there. And that's it for the garden.